So Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is one of the most anticipated games of the year and it's just released today on Game Pass. Let's go through the steps to get the very best settings so the game runs at 1080p and over 50 FPS, which of course also works for the original Ally and other Windows devices like the Legion Go 2. Plus I'll share my top 5 impressions of the game and how well it runs, including my biggest disappointment with the game. So let's start by heading into the Xbox app and downloading it if you haven't already. And again this is so awesome that we get this on day one on Game Pass. It comes in at a whopping 113 gigabytes and it took me about an hour to download on my 900 megabits per second home Wi-Fi. When the game's fully installed, let's head into settings within Army Crate, head into performance, go to GPU settings, and we need to change the memory assigned to GPU to 8 gigabytes for the original Ally or 10 gigabytes for the Ally X, as this is where the extra RAM on this new Ally X comes in handy. Then we'll need to restart our Ally. When it's restarted, let's head back into settings within Army Crate, then back into performance, into operating mode, in manual mode, let's max out the SPL, SPPT and FPPT sliders as this is a very demanding game. Click on the three dots and then press rename. I'm going to call this new profile full max. Now press the X button on the game in Army Crate. Press set game profile, then configuration and set our new full max profile so it will launch into this when we're plugged in. So now let's launch the game and it'll probably need a small 2GB update even after we've just installed the full game. We can set our difficulty here. The Ally doesn't have HDR so we can leave this off and set the brightness to our liking. For me, I'll just very slightly increase this. I'm going to leave picture framing at widescreen and whoa, this is our first look at Indie. Now let's head into options, head over to the video settings tab, keep display on borderless windowed. Let's change the resolution to 720p because as I say, this is a very demanding game. Then click apply video mode changes. Change vertical sync to off. Set the FPS limit to the max of the ally, which is 120. Turn motion blur from high to off. Set chromatic aberration to off. Set film grain from 25 to zero. Keep depth of field on. Keep depth of field anti aliasing to on. Set the texture pool size to high. Keep shadow quality on low. Set decal rendering distance to high. Keep global illumination quality at low. Set reflections quality from low to high. Keep motion blur quality at low. Change water quality from low to high. Keep volumetric quality at low. Keep hair quality at low. Set texture anisotropic filtering quality from low to high. Change vegetation animation quality from ultra to medium. Change resolution scaling from dynamic to static. Change static resolution scaling to 70. And now we finish, so just press B and our settings are saved. So now we're fully up and running with these best settings, we can get a very playable 30 FPS. And of course, as always is the case with these best settings guides, feel free to tweak slightly for your personal preference. And I just want to give a massive shout out to the incredible RG Ally Life website, link in description, where you can check out amazing best settings written guides for this and indeed tons of other games too, as well as great feature articles as well. Okay, so now let's supercharge this bad boy and add some special sauce to get that 1080p and 50 plus FPS. By clicking options, head to the video tab, then in display mode, change this from borderless windowed to windowed, then click apply video mode changes and accept, and the game is now in a window. Then let's head into Army Crate and launch our secret weapon, which is the incredible lossless scaling app. And if you don't have this already, then check out my full setup and walkthrough vid, link in description. And this is an absolute game changer. So let's LS1 as a scaling type, LSFG 2.3 and two times mode in the frame generation section. Hit the blue scale button on the top right, which begins a five second countdown. Quickly get the windowed game back up and voila, we are now in full screen and lossless scaling is now in process. And we can check lossless scaling is fully working at any time as on the left, the first number which here is around 30 FPS is the original FPS and the second number which here is 60 is what FPS the game is now currently running at as a result of lossless scaling being applied. So we are indeed hovering around 60 FPS in this part of the game. And if we swipe up on the taskbar mid-game and switch to the lossless scaling app, 
then click status on the bottom left. It confirms to us here that yes, the app has indeed upscaled the resolution from 720p that we set earlier in the game to 1080p. Wow, this app is just so awesome. And now I'll give my top five impressions of the game and how it runs, including the one big thing I'm disappointed with. So the first impression is just how much this game absolutely nails the atmosphere of those classic 80s indie films like Raiders of the Lost Ark and Temple of Doom. And if you're even a slight fan of these films, then it's essential that you at least have a go with it being on Game Pass. I'm sure you won't regret it. Impression 2 is just what a great looking game this is, and using the lossless scaling app to boost it to 1080p and also doubling the frame rate really is essential. I lived around this museum room really fast and it really did feel super smooth and just gorgeous to look at. At 3 is how the orchestral score just blew me away. Regular viewers to the channel know how much I bang on about how just incredible the immersive ally speakers are. And the game's soundtrack on these very speakers is unreal. At 4 is how good it is to have Harrison Ford's likeness as Indy, and Troy Baker, who is obviously Joel in my favourite game The Last of Us, turns in an amazing vocal performance and sounds just like the real Indy. And finally at 5, and the thing I'm most disappointed with is that I totally agree with Dragon969, Chili and also Jinx, my new viewers are the absolute best, and that it's such a shame that it's only in first person, I really do wish a third person viewpoint was an option. So if you're like me and also these great viewers, and first person just isn't your favourite way to play games, then it does dull our enjoyment somewhat, especially when there are glimpses of just how great third person would be like this. I'd love to know how you're finding Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, so do let us know in the comments, hit like and also subscribe if you found this useful, and as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Don't start your day with the broken pieces of yesterday, every day is a fresh start, each day is a new beginning, each morning we wake up is the first day of our new life. Man, so many of us have gone through so much hurt and heartbreak in our past, but today is a brand new day and a fresh start, so let's try and focus on the exciting future ahead of us instead of the past, so stay encouraged today guys. And if you want to get fully set up with lossless scaling, which is essential for this best settings guide, then click here. I appreciate every single one of you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.